I reached Court from Court's Crafts, and it's been a while since I've taken you kind of all the way through a tutorial for what I did. Now, I created this project on my Gypsy, and if you'd like the Gypsy download file, you are welcome to email me at courtscraftsblog at gmail.com, and that link is, uh, that email address is on my website, uh, courtscrafts.blogspot.com, and I would love to send it to you. All right, so these pieces right here, the birds, are cut from the Imaginist Enchanted line. Happy Ever After is the name of this paper. And you can see where I just cut them out of where the just light blue polka dots are to utilize that part. This red piece of paper was cut from the Animal Crackers Camp Come One, Come All. Um, and it's the back side of this. I love the polka dots that Imaginist has. And the blue right here is from Animal Crackers Hot Buttered Popcorn. And this is what the back side looks of that one. The brown is coordinations, and these solids are paper tray ink. I'll be stamping with my pink stamper's Lovealicious line, the little one down here that says Lovebirds. I already have that ready to go. And of course I have my Versamark ink, and I'm using Alamode white embossing powder. So it's time to do some embossing. I've decided to use the uh, Divine Swirls Cuddlebug Embossing Folder, and this one is called Forest Branches Embossing Folder. For the birds, I'll be using the Divine Swirl. You'll take your A plate, your B plate, and your other B plate, and make your sandwich. And run it through. Now for this one, even though it's a small embossing folder, I'm not worried because the bottom part of this will not actually be showing. It's going to be covered by another layer. So I'm just worried about embossing the top portion of this. For this next part, I'll be using the Imaginist De-Stress Tool, which is amazing on coordination's paper, so you know it's made for sanding. And I'm just going to turn it on. And sand all of these ridges. my card base. Using my glue glider pro. And then I go back in for the edges.
I have the Colorizer by EK Success as my heat emboss tool. And a simple sheet of white paper. I'm recycling it as it got printed on one of those extra pages from the end of an email. Before I attach my birds, I want to go ahead and do this. So I like to set everything up ahead of time so that I can move quickly. like I have here you can always use a dry paintbrush and I get most of those white speckles off because once you set them they don't come off this up to recycle. You can see this starting to heat up. You can see the orange glow. There you have it, the finished card. I'm going to add a few more details, like I'm going to add an eye rock right here where this hole is, I think. And I'm going to add some details to the bird and maybe a little bow so that you know one's a boy and one's a girl. This is the inside, so it has plenty of room to write. And thank you so much for joining me and seeing how I put together one of my shaped cards. Again, if you'd like the gypsy file, um, I'm happy to share it with you. And I made all this using the Creative Memories Cheerful Seasons cartridge. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.